How can I make a GUI that stays consistent on all screen sizes? How can I make something that's mobile compatible? Hi YouTube, so this is gonna be a positioning and size tutorial. So basically, let's start off with just making a normal text label. Let's set these values to zero. And let's set this value to 100. So what is this value right here? Well, this value is the X coordinate of whatever this, the X coordinate of wherever this label is on the screen. So you can see it right here, it's 100 pixels away from the screen. And if you change this value, let's say to 500, it's now 500 pixels away from the screen. And remember, this is the X coordinate. And the coordinate system is basically, it's comprised of X and Y coordinates. And for GUIs, which are two dimensional objects, they have an X and a Y coordinate. So basically, you have 500 pixels away from the left side of the screen. And let's say we change this to 500. Well, now this is 500 pixels away from the left, which is indicated here, and also 500 pixels from the top. So this length from here all the way to here is 500 pixels, and this length from here all the way to here is also 500 pixels. So why? So this is what a lot of people tend to do when they start developing games. They tend to make their GUIs pixel-based. Now, why is this bad? When players play a game, they, they have screens that are an unknown value of size. Now, what does that mean? So right now my desktop is, this is how wide it is, but let's say I was using a smaller desktop. So let's say the game was like this. Well, now your label is right here, but let's say I was on a phone. Now where's the label? Well, it's gone. It's right here, but like it's not in my screen. So as you can see, if you change the dimensions of your screen, the label can disappear. If I, let's say I was playing on a wide screen, it could look like this. The label would be like stuck in here and you would never be able to see it. Or we can test it using the device testing. See, if someone played on a Samsung Galaxy S7, your label has gone. How are they going to see it? If they played on an iPhone 4S, you can see how the label, it stays the same exact position no matter where or no matter what device your player is using. Now, how do we fix this? If a player is playing our game on a mobile, on a mobile phone, we don't want them to not see the label. We want them to see the label at all times. All right, so how do you fix this whole problem here? So as I showed you before, these 500 values, they represent how far away the label is from the left side of the screen and also from the top. So what if there was another way to go about doing this? Instead of like, instead of defining absolute pixel values, what we could do is define percentage values. So let's say 0.5%. Well now this, this text label, it's not some value, some number of pixels away from the screen defined absolutely. It's some percentage away from the screen. So let's say it was 30% away from the left side of the screen. Now what happens if we're on a different device? Watch closely. As you can see, the label is still there. It's not gone. And this is kind of the ideal way of setting your position values. Let's, let's see what happens if we were on a wider screen. As you can see, it's still there. And the reason is because it's defined as a percentage value, not an absolute value. So it's 495 pixels away from the left, the left side of the screen. And that value is calculated using this number. This number says 30%, 0 0.3 stands for 30%, 30% away from the left of the screen. So this, this much is 30%. And let's say your screen was smaller. As you can see, the number right here, it decreases because it's based on that screen size. And well, we use something called a relative size. Basically what that means is it's relative to your screen size. So no matter how large or small your screen is, this number will change because this is a percentage value. Now this is amazing. And how can we do this with size? Well, you might have already guessed it. This says 200 pixels wide and 50 pixels long. Well, we can change this to 0, 0 and then define it as a percentage value. And guess what will happen to these numbers right here? 
if I resize my screen, those numbers will also change. And what I'd like you to do is really go into Roblox Studio and mess around with these values and see how changing this will make that change and try it out on your GUIs because if you define it absolutely as in 150, 150, if you did that, it stays the same. It's just like with position, 30 and it stays the exact same place because you defined it absolutely. So that's why you want to use percentage values or relative values. Defining it this way is using absolute values like that. But defining it with percentages is using relative values. Now there are certain cases where you want to use both or you want to use just relative or just absolute values. But for now, as a beginner scripter, I would want you to look through this and figure out how does this change based on the screen size and what is the ideal percentage and absolute values? What are the ideal values for certain types of GUI? So let me give you an example of how this works in a real life situation. So I have some label called coins and watch how this responds as I change the screen. So if I make it smaller on the X axis, as you can see, it's working fine, working fine. And then boom, now it's like offset a little bit. And if we continue decreasing this, it kind of gets all ruined. And well, that's not what you want for your game. What you would rather have, well, let's let's try to change some of this stuff and see how can we change this? And how could we make it work? Well, instead of using relative position, what if I use, I mean, what if instead of using relative size, what if I used absolute size? So 30, 335 by 81, let's change it to that. And now if we change this, it's working. How come that worked? Well, it's because we chose the right values to use for the right situation. So this is just to demonstrate that relative positioning, it works a lot of the time, but not all of the time. And there's other ways to get around that whole relative thing. Like we could have, we could have set text scale and we could have turned it on. We could have changed a bunch of other things. But for now, just to use an example, you can see there are situations where absolute positioning and absolute size is much better than relative size. So that's all I had for today. Uh, if you want to see part two of this video, like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll continue it with a part two. If you want to see more move animations or like effects, put that in the comments below. I'll try to give a balance of the two, but that's all I have for now. See you later.